Thank you for that. We are live. Hello and welcome. We'll get rolling in just a second. Yeah, and then you don't get any Right. Yeah, right. So is it a value? All right, if we have made it to the spot of the natural class, I may <laughs> jump in and get started for the day. Um, if any of us have guests who are not with us right now, the laptop that I'm putting up right now is doing a YouTube live stream. It will record it. Also, of course, we can share the URL. And then if we want to watch and celebrate things later, we can do that as well. Um, first, hello, and thank you so much for being here for this year's Compass Showcase for the Cybersecurity Applied Mathematics class. I am Scott Porter, and I've had both the pleasure and opportunity to function on this team since the beginning, seven years ago. Um, and for most of us who have existed through the last three years, that time-space continuum kind of feels like silly putty. It's both the longest and shortest time all at the same time, <laughs> which has been kind of fun. Um, when we started this program seven years ago, we knew that we couldn't do this by ourselves. So for mentors, students, parents, business partners, and anyone else who's really leaned in to make this program happen, we thank you. Um, Compass simply does not exist without this level of community support and all of us just leaning in. So again, thank you. Um, as we started Compass, we had a few common goals. First and foremost was really relevancy in everything that we do. We knew that at the end of the day, when our young people leave and walk out the door, if they ask themselves, why did we learn that, we know we failed. One common thread that everyone in this room probably has is you have sat in a classroom and wondered, why am I learning this? Or when am I ever going to use it? And as a program, we chose to eliminate that again by the involvement of everyone in the room and everyone leaning in. And um, so again, thank you for students, mentors, parents, staff that have leaned in to make this all possible. Um, today we are here to celebrate student successes lessons learned and their overall journey as a part of their charter projects. So this year we partnered with, or it's in every year we partner with organizations, big, small, and otherwise, to offer students an authentic audience for their learning. So they should be or will have produced projects for organizations um, that are either interested in helping the next generation or came to us asking for something. So that said, I may press pause on me talking and hand it off to the group called Cyber Advisors. And again, they are going to share with you their journey, lessons learned, successes, and maybe sometimes struggles. Thank you all for being here. <laughs> I'm going to go back to class. <laughs> Thanks for being here. We are the Cyber Advisors Group. I'm Max Willem. I'm Jasmika. And I'm Keegan. And Anya was not able to make it today. But she was also in the group. Yeah. So we worked with Mr. Paul Beasley's company, Cyber Advisors, to do a, a vulnerability assessment on a local business in St. Paul. So that includes things like uh, scanning for internal and external vulnerabilities, uh, conducting a simulation of an assumed breach, uh, we did a physical security assessment and we scanned their active directory. Uh, one of the challenges that we faced uh, during this project was scheduling. Scheduling was a really big deal for our project because we were sometimes scheduling up to four different um, groups at once. We had um, our schedules as students. We had Mr. Beasley's schedule, which is crazy hectic. Um, we had our teacher schedules, and then since we were working with a third party, we would have to sometimes also schedule for them. And this made it a little bit hard because we had less opportunities to meet and sometimes would push back our schedule. Um, another one of the challenges that we faced were technology failures. 
Um, some of the devices that we use to scan the systems failed, uh, and with the engineer that worked on the metatone, uh, that also limited what we could cover and pushed back um, our schedule. The photo here is uh, our third challenge that we encountered uh, when we were driving to our final client meeting. Um, Keegan had to hold down the roof of the car. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so it was a great show of teamwork, and uh, we that challenge eventually pulled off and uh, got it back on. Okay, I'll be talking about the, some, of, some of the successes that we had. So we had really good teamwork. We worked well together, and we um, made sure we like met the deadlines. We also um, had each other's backs when one person couldn't get an assignment turned in. We like stepped up and did it for them. And we met all the deadlines and we were able to turn in the final deliverable and the client was happy. And we had good communication as well. We all did a great job communicating with Mr. Beasley. It was hard to find the time, as mentioned, as Max mentioned before, between us, the teachers, Mr. Beasley, and the client, but we did a great job um, communicating to find the time. So we had a few highlights from our semester in this class. Uh, mine was when a guest speaker came in, uh, Masood Amin. He talked about the importance of cybersecurity and how it ties in with critical infrastructure, how we can protect our critical infrastructure from attackers. And I thought that was really cool and important. My favorite guest speaker was Mia Devika. She was a chemical engineer and she talked about the process of getting a PhD. And it was really cool to just learn about the process of getting a PhD because it's a lot of work and it's also cool to learn from someone that did chemical engineering because I didn't know what it was exactly, but it was really cool to learn about that. Um, and then one of the offsites that I thought was really cool was our offsite to the Ridgedale Mall where we got a kind of behind the scenes look at the security of it and some of the devices that we used, that, that they used. Um, and it was really cool to get to hear how the kind of like cyber and physical security aspects kind of intertwined at something that works like a small city. Um, I would like to thank Mr. Beasley for um, helping us through uh, this entire project. Despite his extremely busy schedule, he always managed to find the time to meet with us, would always set a space of time away for us so that we could meet up and he could help us develop our skills and learn in a very valuable way, so thank you. Um, I would also like to thank our teachers for helping us throughout this semester. It was two blocks a day. It was a lot of time, but they still put up with us. Um, <laughs> and I would also like to thank my mentor, Aaron, for helping me out with many different skills, whether that be my professionalism and interview skills, um, pursuing a future career in digital forensics, um, or just helping me through my college process and deciding what I want to do with my life. Uh, so he spent a lot of time with me, and I really appreciate him for that. I'd like to thank my mom, my dad, uh, my mentor, Orion. <laughs> he couldn't be here today. But I'd also like to thank Paul Beasley for giving us the opportunity to work with him for our charter project. Um, I would like to thank my mentor, Becca Clearman. She was really nice and she like gave me a lot of insights about cybersecurity. And Anya would also like her mentor, thank her mentor Jessa for providing insight into her career as a pen tester and providing her with resources and communities that can help in the future. Uh, so as Cyber Patriots, we're a team, and so we divided ourselves up based on our skills. Sonder and I handle Linux uh, within our activities. Falia takes care of Windows and Windows services. And then uh, D takes care of Windows and networking. 
So our project is like a competition and we're going to be competing in June 5th and throughout the summer until next school year. So basically our project is we're going to be working with Linux terminals and Windows terminals where we're using a virtual machine where there could be something that should be disabled or should be enabled that should not be running or any malicious content that's there. We're trying to find out if it's there and that it should not be there and we're just supposed to get rid of it. Once we do fix it, we on the Cyber Patriots website, we gain points every time we fix something and that's how we win. So our focus journey, we have a bit of a unique journey because we are still going to be working after this class ends and through next year. Um, however, our initial mentor that we had had unexpected things come up and so he became very busy. So we had to seek out different help and that's where we really saw the Compass community come in and support us. Um, all of these different people and mentors came in and taught us and helped us uh, learn what we needed to learn. Um, and now we are feeling really prepared for our competition on June 5th. So we'd like to thank the Compass community. So my favorite guest, um, not guest instructor, but offsite opportunity was definitely the Target trip that we went. We went to the Target headquarters, thanks to Ms. Ruiz, who works there. Um, and we got to meet with a panel of um, cyber specialists there, as well as learn about their digital forensics teams um, and audio and visual. Uh, it was such a unique experience being able to talk um, almost one-on-one -on -one with these people who actively work in the field and learn about how they got all of the opportunities and experiences that they have. Um, so that was my favorite. Um, my favorite off-sites were the Century College. We went there twice and it was, I liked it because we, there was a professor there that taught us about digital forensics, about stenography and mobile forensics. And we did like more, two labs there and it was really fun doing it and I liked it. Uh, my favorite offsite was probably the escape room, which was definitely <laughs> the most fun. Uh, it also really encouraged a lot of teamwork and uh, bond building uh, with other classmates. So I really value that. Yeah, um, my favorite guest instructor was Mr. Moser at the beginning of the semester, and he really taught me how to set expectations for this class, what I wanted to do, and what goals and what I wanted to achieve from this class. So it's a great way to start this class off. Really quickly, I wanted to thank a couple of people. So Mr. George for starting us off with the basics of Linux, and I'd also like to thank Mr. Ebner, uh, Alex Terry Roland for coming in, Alex for coming in on Senior Skip Day. <laughs> and um, they helped us with Windows and getting the bases down, and it was really important for all of us. And I'd also like to thank Mr. Beasley. He was a big help. It's nice for, for having someone with this much experience in the cybersecurity field. And yeah. Yeah, I'd like to thank my uh, mentor, Mr. Wade Phillips, uh, for always helping me whenever I uh, had questions about, you know, just the industry or whatever it is. I would like to thank my mentor, Ms. Julie Hebert. Um, she was always available for me whenever I emailed her. And she also gave me tips and advices for my interviews or mock interviews that we had in my class. And she also set up a meeting with one of her colleagues to talk with me about college and courses and how to apply. And I really appreciate that. And I'd like to thank my mentor, Christy. She sat on Zoom with me for literal hours, answering all of my questions about her job and industry and giving me advice on what classes I want to take next year and more so what I want to do with my life. It was so helpful. It was invaluable um, learning from her experiences. So really quickly, I don't want to forget about Ms. Cody and Ms. Granlin. Thank you so much. <laughs> and Mr. Torter, you guys were a big help. And yeah. yeah. Thank you. Oh yeah. I thought it was there. Oh yeah. All right. So uh, we're Pilates MN. Uh, I'm Chris. 
I'm Alvin Tej, and our partner here, Tom Kanavi, here today. So, um, for our charter, we worked with a local Pilates gym, Pilates MM, to work on increasing their client retention rates. To do this, we analyzed their client visit data through the program that they used to track attendance, uh, Mind Body. Uh, we surveyed uh, 57 student athletes at our school across multiple different sports. Um, we researched general client behavior through academic journals and um, fitness trade journals. And we developed a three phase program to enroll the members and keep them in. And these three phases uh, occurred across time. So we had a short term plan, a medium term plan, and a long term plan. All right, so next up, we're going to cover the timeline of our project. So we started with the initial charter meeting. That's where we talked to our client, Mr. Hasselbring, about what incentives he has, what he's looking for, and the different deliverables we should give them. And that happened on March 24th of this year. Um, after that, we started our initial data analysis. So we used the platform that he gave us, which was MindBody, and that just contained all the different data about the different Pilates clients and how often they're coming to class, what they're, what they're doing. Um, so we analyzed that data from late March through April 9th. Um, after that, we sent out the student athlete survey at YZ, and that surveyed 67 athletes at our school. And we asked them questions like, if they're familiar with Pilates, what they know about it, if they've ever been to a gym, and finally, like what incentives they would like if they ever went to a Pilates gym. So then after that, late April through mid-May, we analyzed that data from the student survey. We looked at more journals and compiled everything together, made a research report and a rehearsal presentation, which we finally gave to our client on May 18th. All right, so our strengths and challenges. Um, one of our strengths was our communication. We kept constant communication with each other, with our client, Mr. Hasselbrink, with the teachers, which was pretty good. Um, and then our other biggest strength was our research. Um, we developed a really detailed research report, analyzed lots of data, and finally gave that research report to our client. On the other hand, some of our challenges included learning the new software because we're all used to like Google Sheets and all the Google applications. So adjusting from Google Sheets to Microsoft Excel was a big challenge, but we ultimately got through it. And then another challenge was timeliness, made, keeping up with all the deadlines. Um, we missed one of the deadlines, but I bet everything worked out. All right, so beyond just our charter, we also had a wide variety of guest instructors and offsites that introduced us to career fields in the cybersecurity and applied mathematics uh, area. Um, our personal favorite guest instructor was Mike Schwebka. He was a uh, risk analysis uh, analyst at US Bank, and uh, he showed us how math is used to uh, determine risk for US Bank and uh, report it to the Fed. Um, and our favorite offsite was Turk. Uh, they gave us a tour of their manufacturing plant. We were able to see uh, a different side of uh, applied math through something like engineering. So that was also a very interesting tool. So now we want to say thank you. Uh, thank you to Ms. Kitty and Ms. Granlin. There's a lot of effort to teach for two blocks for an entire semester straight. So <clears throat> thank you for that. Um, we'd like to thank Mr. Hasselbring for allowing us to work with his business and develop solutions for him. And we'd like to thank our mentors. Um, I'd specifically like to thank Mr. Homa. Uh, he helped me, um, sorry. He helped me, uh, gave me guidance uh, into the next phase of my life, whether it be college or career and beyond. So thank you for that. Um, we'd also like to thank all the guest instructors that came into our class and talked to us, taking time out of their schedule. I'd like to thank um, Ms. Cootie, Ms. Grandin for organizing all the offsite visits we had. Those are also really helpful. Um, and then finally, I'd also like to thank my mentor, Mr. Johnson. He gave me lots of information about the field he's working in and what he does and also help me with like mock interviews and things like that. And uh, Hugh Tom couldn't be here, but he'd also like to thank his mentor Anastasia. Um, I'm sure he had a great time with her. So. All
here, everyone. We're, we work with Sydney, and uh, this is our showcase presentation. I'm Jason. I'm Arnold. Uh, I'm Timmy. Okay, so first of all, our charter for our charter project, we worked with the company Simbi. Uh, they were developing a mobile app exclusively for Gen Z to start a business in an interactive, gamified, self-paced online platform. Uh, so the task they gave us was to um, create surveys and uh, get feedback from uh, various students, uh, people online, and organizations in order to provide feedback to and improve their app. Um, as mentioned by Jason, um, we were tasked at um, receiving feedback. So we had a pre-production model of their app. Um, we went out and uh, both grabbed qualitative and quantitative data. Um, for the short, we had a short answer paragraph towards the end where we got individual feedback and what could be improved. Um, for the more qualitative and uh, qualitative data, we had a multiple choice data set rating overall satisfaction, the UI interface, etc. So some of the challenges that we had was collecting like qualitative data. Um, for collecting qualitative data, we hosted some online focus group, groups with some like communities and like some organizations. Um, just trying to like find that like data um, for like thoroughness. So like instead of just like clicking um, like one through five, we just wanted some actual feedback. Um, another challenge was organizing that data because since we had a lot of qualitative data, we needed to bunch those things in categories like common like features some bug reports or some confusing aspects. And um, the last challenge was presenting data. Um, it really wasn't just about like talking, but it was really about the technicality of the presentation because we needed to explain what each uh, like graph represents and what that means to Simbi. All right, so now I'll talk about the successes we had while working on our project. Uh, first of all, we were very successful in meeting all our deadlines. Uh, we were able to get things done in a timely manner because we were very proactive uh, with collecting our data. So by the end of our project, we were able to amass a, a very uh, large data set to work with. Uh, second, uh, we were very successful in our teamwork. Uh, we worked very well together. We distributed the workload evenly, so we were able to work very efficiently. Uh, lastly, we were very successful in satisfying our client in our final meeting. Uh, we were able to give them a, a very high quality final product uh, that, and they appreciated all of the feedback that we gave them. Um, throughout the Compass uh, Cybersecurity, we had a variety of off-site experiences. Um, our person, one of our personal favorites was Turk, where we got an inside look of a German automation uh, company and their facilities. and how the process of engineering uh, works in their field. Uh, second, uh, one of our offsite highlights was our trip to Target HQ. Uh, we were able to talk with several of their cybersecurity team members. I asked them about their jobs and their experiences. And we were also able to uh, receive a presentation from a, a digital forensics and audio forensics expert, uh, which was an interesting topic that we haven't dealt much into in this class. Uh, so another one of our personal favorite offsites was the escape room, which was our first. Uh, I really like it because it was our most memorable one, because obviously we were locked in a room with <laughs> a bunch of people that know our first. So it was a great bonding experience, and I think it really helped us start off the year. Uh, we'd like to thank uh, Cindy, especially Mark and Kenzie for allowing us the opportunity to work with him. Um, I'd like to personally thank my mentor, uh, Mr. Cassidy, uh, for his um, expertise in the engineering field and his advices, and especially being a recent retiree, he had a lot of information on the field. All right, so I'd like to thank our teachers, uh, Ms. Granlin and Cootie. Uh, they checked in with us every week and uh, made sure we knew everything that we had to do for the project. And they also uh, introduced us to uh, to uh, Lange, who uh, Mrs. Lange, who helped us reach out to a bunch of staff in this building in order to collect our feedback. Uh, finally, I'd like to personally thank my mentor, Navaz. Um, he answered a lot of my questions 
about the cybersecurity profession during our meetings, and he also uh, gave me a few cybersecurity resources, which uh, were very helpful to read. So I'd like to personally thank Ramani Kona, which is my mentor. He taught me a lot about professional development, and he taught me a lot about cloud practitioning. Um, last but not least, I would like to thank everyone at Compass, uh, especially our peers, for helping us along our Compass journey. So we had the pleasure to work with a group called Right Hennepin, and Right Hennepin is a nonprofit, member-owned electrical co-op uh, that is headquartered in Rockford, Minnesota. They serve more than 45,000 homes with electricity throughout Right and Hennepin County. So what did we actually do during our travel project? Our mission was to figure out if smart home appliances are a valuable venture for the Right Hennepin company to go with. So throughout the entire project, we accumulated a ton of research and we created four different deliverables. So our first deliverable is our research report, which goes over pretty much all the research that we've done. We've compiled it all into one report. And then we have our spreadsheet, which goes over if smart home appliances are actually a good venture because it goes through the different costs that a smart home appliance like, actually costs to buy and then how much money is it saving, how much electricity is it saving. It goes through all the hard numbers. And then we have our survey which is going over the smart home adoption rates which is how many people are actually going to buy these smart home appliances if they give an incentive of what amount and then we have our security handout which gets over one of the biggest pitfalls of a smart home appliance which is a weak cybersecurity network and this tells people how to get over that pitfall for their consumers some of our challenges to completing this project um firstly uh, the initial research didn't work out. Um, as Truman mentioned, we were trying to find out smart home device adoption rates. Our initial method of doing so um, unfortunately didn't work, so we had to formulate the survey, um, kind of last minute, and uh, get results from that. Secondly, we had some scheduling conflicts near the end of the project. Um, our schedules were so busy with offsites, like fun offsites and guest instructors, and our client schedules were busy with meetings and other work things. So it was a little bit of a struggle to get our schedules to work out. Some of the successes that we had is that we had a successful background of backup plan, which was the survey, which was more catered to the parents within the Vizetta community. And we also had good organization and we stayed, to, stayed on task within the timeline. Uh, now, outside of our charter project, we've had a lot of different experiences in this class. My personal favorite was when we went to the Target headquarters in Brooklyn Park. Uh, it was just really nice to sit down with their team, their, their cybersecurity team, and just see all, all of the different backgrounds that they had there. It really showed me that if, if I wanted to, to get involved, there are just so many different paths that I can take to, to reach my goal in the end. My favorite offsite was a Turk offsite. I personally don't want to go into the cybersecurity field. I want to be an engineer. So going to the Turk industry was, was a lot better since they're an engineering company and not a cybersecurity company. So even though we're in a cybersecurity class, being able to have that opportunity was really valuable to me. And one of my favorite was the Federal Reserve. Within that, I learned a lot about the jobs in it. And also, like we also took a tour. In it, it was like really fun about like the money and machines. But we also learned a lot about like the cool tricks on the bills. And like the fun thing is that like when they mentioned about the districts, everyone took out their uh, bill, uh, wallets and like checked their bills and like check oh who has which district and all, which was fun. My personal favorite was the Target offsite. Um, it was really fun to see into their um, physics department and how they do things and their. It was really fun to talk to the cybersecurity experts there. So lastly, we just want to thank everyone that's worked with us. We want to thank Mr. Garlitz, who worked with Rat and have been for giving us this opportunity for the project itself. 
want to thank Mr. Grayland and Ms. Cooley for giving us these opportunities and helping us throughout our entire project. We want to thank the, we want to thank the mentors that have worked with us, Mrs. Ms. True and Mr. Weiner, who helped us a lot throughout this project. And I personally want to thank Mrs. Christofferson for helping me throughout my for bringing out my career, since I'm going to be changing my major now after meeting with her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my mentor, Mr. Koshiel, he's not here today, but throughout the past two terms, it's just been great, like, just like having him in my life, because obviously going to college, it's been like a pretty stressful time, but, you know, just, just having him here to like make, make that more, make, make me more confident in, in what I'm going into. I would personally like to thank my mentor, Liz, um, for putting up with my relentless questions about her field, about my potential major, and so on and so forth. And I just want to thank her for her patience and her kindness and for like and for meeting up with, or emailing me and meeting up with me for this entire semester. Um, so thank you. I would also like to thank my mentor, Audrey Rudy's. She helped me a lot about like her job, which was the target, and she also helped within the getting us into the target offsite. And um, I learned a lot about the cyber field. And Kate Grandlin, and I just want to reiterate that thanks. As Mr. Porter said, we can't do this program without you to give you an idea. This year we had 18 mentors, we had 38 guest instructors, and we had 13 offsites. So we did go other places other than Turk and Turkey. <laughs> I swear we did. So we really appreciate everything you do for the program. And thank you to our students as well. I know there's um, challenges and things along the way, but um, it's really, I think, I wish I had something like this when I was in high school because I think it's such a great opportunity to explore and start asking those questions of what do I want things to look like in five years or two years or ten years. So thank you for just being open to trying new things. And also we'd like to just give a gentle reminder to those mentors out there who haven't filled out their mentor evaluation forms yet. We do need those back. So please take a few minutes to fill those out. And then before you leave, we do have cookies and water for you to have so you can Spend a couple minutes mingling with your mentees or anybody else. Thank you again for coming. Mm -hmm.